Chinese tennis fans were in for a treat on semi-final Saturday at the Shanghai Rolex Masters. The two best players on the planet in action in one of the finest arenas on the ATP World Tour. World number one Novak Djokovic had never lost to Roberto Bautista Agut in their five previous meetings, but the Spaniard has been in scintillating form on the way to his second career Masters 1000 semi-final. In a cagey opening, both players held with ease, but with Djokovic serving to stay in the set, it was Bautista Agut who would crank up the pressure. Thank you very much! How quickly things can change. Bautista Agut would be the first to break in set two, but facing elimination from the tournament, Djokovic finally found a response. It's been a long time coming. The tenacious Spaniard across the net, though, would not be denied, his mental strength forcing another break point immediately afterwards. The wheels came off in that game. In a tournament of incredible contests, this was evolving into the most thrilling of them all. Game 9 and Bautista Agut was serving for the match. It was one of the most nail-biting ever seen in this stunning stadium. This is outrageous, Jason. Somehow, though, you knew Bautista Agut wasn't done yet. Another match point arrived just moments later on the Djokovic serve. Oh, he's made it! Roberto Bautista Agut is through to his very first Masters 1000 final. I'm so happy, no? I think uh, I played uh, a great match. Uh, was uh, a special moment for me to, to, to play one semi-final here in Shanghai against Novak and I had uh, to play my best tennis to beat him. I want to enjoy the final and to try to play my best tennis. I didn't feel as great uh, mentally, but credit to Roberto, he was a better player, no question about it. I had to experience uh, sooner or later this. I, I knew I could not go on playing on the highest level for so many years all the time, so, uh, you know. But it's good, you know, to experience this so I can hopefully get better in the period to come. So the world number one out then. The world's second best player, Andy Murray, faced a tricky contest with Gilles Simon, who reached the Shanghai final two years before. After the high drama of the djokovic bautista Agut clash, this was a more cagey affair, but with Simon serving to stay in the first set, it was time for a bit of Murray magic. Oh, he's burnt him! And what a sensational way to wrap up the opening sets. The Simon threat wilted somewhat in the second set, Murray beginning to dictate the play, racing to a double break advantage. The court position has improved, hasn't it, in the second set? Simon did recover one of them, but Murray would not be denied a fourth Shanghai final. He's played some good tennis this week. It's Murray safely through to the final here in Shanghai. It was a tough match because you know neither of us were that comfortable on serve. Um, you know a lot of a lot of breaks. Uh, you know, and it's always a tough match up against him because of the, the way that he plays. He's got a very different game style to, to a lot of players. It's a ball very flat, so I was happy uh, I got through it and raised the intensity in some of the important moments, and it was good. After a day of high drama, then, it is Andy Murray who joins Roberto Bautista Agut in Sunday's final at the Shanghai Rolex Masters.